Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing a video where I just talk about um, the bleaching process of my hair and just like care tips um, for afterwards. So yesterday I helped bleach my friend's hair um, to dye it a white color, and then I after that I bleached my hair. Um, I'm going to show a little clip of me doing her hair just so I can kind of show you what I did. I basically just picked a side of her head to start on and started um, applying the bleach mainly to her roots but also to the rest of the hair because she wanted it to be a lighter color and to make it a white she had to go um, a lot blonder. So I would paint on to half the hair and then I would put the um, end of the little brush, the uh, kind of like the uh, handle, and I would put it under the part of the hair that I did and then flip it over onto the other side of her head and then cover the back of that hair. And then you just basically do that process until the whole head is covered. Um, we planned on getting two, pla two packets of bleach for her and one packet for me, but we ended up having to use all three packets on her hair and it still didn't even cover all of it. Um, so that was kind of a bummer, and so we also, after that, used a toner. Um, we used T18, and we were using Volume 10 and Volume 20 developer. And so what the developer does is it goes on looking like a white clear color, and then it starts turning purple, and the color purple actually on the color wheel counteracts the color yellow and so like in my hair right now it's kind of yellow so what I'll be using is um, I didn't have a toner so I'll have to use another purple thing what I recommend is getting a purple shampoo um, you can also use like conditioner and purple hair color like hair dye um, but that can be a little bit more sketchy pretty much because it might leave the color purple on your hair um, I know when we use the um, toner on her hair the purple tint was still there on part of the hair that got white, like the whitest. And so if you are, if you have bleached your hair and it is a like a yellow or orange color, definitely get a purple shampoo um, and also like sun exposure and just over time it's going to start getting lighter and lighter and less yellow. But basically any color treatment that's purple will um, start to counteract the yellow and orange tones in your hair. So definitely pick one of these up. And of course, after all the bleaching process, your hair is gonna probably be de be very dead. Um, so I'd recommend getting a um, like a rejuvenating conditioner or like a revitalizing conditioner. Um, this one is Keratin Care Complex Conditioner. These are the type of things that you'd find in like store-bought hair color treatment things. Um, they usually have a conditioner for after your color treatment and those actually work really really well um, if you guys live near a Sally's they also sell individual packets of um, this like really rich conditioner and I would definitely recommend using that because your hair is gonna literally hate you afterwards especially once you're using the purple shampoo I try to not shampoo my hair as much as I used to I used to shampoo and conditioner my hair every single day but I've just started to condition mainly and then using shampoo every other wash or whatever. So if you're going to keep using the purple shampoo, it's just going to keep taking those um, essential oils and minerals that are fundamental for your hair to maintain its condition. So definitely try to use a conditioner that is going to um, really rejuvenate your hair and make it as quality as it was before. Now if you have shorter hair like I do because I just got a haircut, um, you actually may be able to not have to do the brushing um, through every strand. You may literally just be able to use your hands with gloves um, and just basically apply it like a shampoo or conditioner. Um, I haven't tried that before, but I know of people who have done it just because their hair was short enough. Um, but if you want to make sure that it's all evenly toned like all over your head, then probably going in with the brush um, would be your best bet to just get full coverage and make sure that everything's even. And then after I did, I put a like a Goodwill or Albertsons um, shopping plastic bag over my head, and then I go in with a hair dryer and apply heat. I don't know exactly what it does, but I know it just um, gets the bleach to do its fullest capacity um, with bleaching your hair. I don't know really what else I have to say about this. Um, I talked about how to apply the bleach and hopefully I'll have a video. Hopefully the video wasn't terrible quality and you can tell what I'm doing. Um, and I talked about if you have orange and yellow tints to use a purple shampoo or you can use a conditioner with a purple hair color dye. I talked about using good conditioner or maybe doing like a coconut oil or some other type of hair mask or some type of leave-in conditioner just so your hair can um, go back to its normal state as well as it can. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. I've never actually gone this light of a blonde before, I don't think. But hopefully over time, after I use this uh, purple shampoo quite a few more times, then it will be going back to a less yellow kind of blonde and more of like a whiter, um, ashy color. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did find this helpful or you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you are new to my channel. I put out videos every Sunday. Check out my social media links in the description below, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye! Got my fire on my ox course. What's your preference? Do you like rap or rock more? Whatever that you like, I got it all for. You so what it do, I got a lot more. Try.